Hey, it's Johnny Goo from OnManTraining.com. I uh, want to talk real quick about, you know, why, you know, what changed me in my life. Well, when I was growing up, I grew up in a pretty fucked up uh, family. It was pretty messed up. Dad left. Mom was uh, pretty violent. And, and, you know, of course, people will say, hey, and I love when they try to give me their psychological evaluation as to why I'm the way I am. Let me tell you something. The way my mom treated me, my mom treated me pretty badly. But you know what? And I did not talk to my mom for 20 years. 20 years I didn't talk to my mother. I went and seen her before she died. Uh, and it was to, I was fine not talking to my mother. We just did not get along. She was just abusive. Uh, <clears throat> at least to me. And she was not a very nice person. She was a very mean, mean woman. But she definitely made me a tough person because I know that the way I was raised, absolutely, I would not have been able to, if my dad raised me, knowing the way he was, I'd have fucking quit a long time ago. Not saying my dad was a fucking weak man, but my dad was a weak man. Okay. And, and, you know, and no matter what anybody wants to say, oh, well, I know why you're the way you are and stuff, you have no fucking idea the way I was. It took a long time for me to figure it out. And, you know, I didn't spend a lot of time in school. I hated it. Just did not want to be there. The only time I went, I liked school was gym and playing sports. And I was probably only in school long enough to play football and run track. And then I was out again. Because back in the day, not too, you know, earlier, it didn't matter if you did well in school. You could still play a sport. So that's what I did. I played sports. Then I didn't care whether I went to school. All I cared about was training, fighting, and fucking. It's the way it was. I was just that type of kid. Very active. Always wanted to be outside. Never wanted to sit down. Didn't want to learn anything. Unless it was in muscle and fitness magazines or Iron Man. And that was all I cared about. So at 17 years old, I get a girl knocked up. Okay? Yeah, that'll change your life. So as bad as I was... Uh, it didn't last very long. Uh, my daughter was born, and I guess I want to say eight months later, I had got sent to where I actually live now in Pennsylvania to live with my sister who I wasn't raised with, my older sister. And she took me in. So I went to school up and I went to high school up in Pennsylvania where I live now for a little bit. And I did the same thing. I played football, and then I didn't care about school. This was 12th grade. So I left. I had a daughter. So I went back to New Jersey and started my life over. So at 17 years old, when you have a kid, it kind of can change you. And I refused because my old man, who I knew until I was about 12 and then just left. And, you know, he figured pussy was more important than his kids. And I don't think I didn't tell him that, which was kind of bullshit. Even though he did try to make up for it and, you know, later on down the road, it's still never, you know, he didn't raise me, you know, from the time I was 12 on. I raised myself for the most part. You know, and, and, men, and men back then, you could you could find a role model in school. You could find a role model, you know, a coach. You can find role models. And if you spend time with strong men, you'll grow up to be a strong man. And you'll notice that they won't accept bullshit. You'll start to learn that you won't accept bullshit. And today we don't have that. You know, men just are afraid to say anything to anybody because the parents will fucking lose their minds and they'll just become fucking melted fucking sissies and just completely cry. I mean, God forbid if you say man up, stop acting like a little bitch. I mean, I, I mean, teachers did curse at you at one time. So anyhow, I, I, 17 years old, I had my first kid. So I had to, I went back because it wasn't, she was being raised by a pathetic Actually, her mother was 15 at the time she was born. So let's say 16 years old. Her mother, obviously, was not capable of taking care of her. So I went down, started. I went back home to New Jersey, started my life over, went to work, went to work on a loading dock, started out at 675 an hour, would drive 20 miles, pay tolls. This was in 80, 88, I believe, 88. Yeah, 88. Uh, my job was what I wanted to do. I've always been a laborer, always blue collar, but this was me having an opportunity to be able to take care of my family. So I started at 6.75 an hour and I would drive and I'd work as many hours as I possibly could to make 9.75 an hour. 
to start out full time to an ultimate payout of eleven seventy five an hour. Now I wasn't getting paid time and a half because the way the company had situated itself many, many years ago. The company's still around actually. And then what I did is I worked a lot of hours. I could work as many hours as I wanted and I would work 50, 60, 70 hours a week uh, when I was full time. And then I taught myself how to drive a tractor trailer and uh, my pay went up to, and I became a jockey and I became, I, I worked, uh, I earned 13 65 an hour. So I taught myself. <clears throat> I bought my first home at 24 years old. I, and my house at the time, I mean, not many 24 year olds buy their own home and before that, I had to actually move back in with my mother because I had a good job and I needed a babysitter and I worked nights. So then, at 20, my, my wife, when I was 24, I met my wife, she was 20, and I bought the house. It was seven years old, so it was almost practically new, it, and it wasn't a very big house. So now I have a 20-year-old girlfriend living with me in our new home, and uh, she's taking care of my two kids. One, I'm paying child support for my son. Now, my kids are all grown now, 33, 30, 24, and 21. And my job now was to, I had this family already. So now I need to work more. So I worked tons and tons of jobs. I always kept my steady job, but I always worked nights. I mean, I worked days and then I worked weekends. So I spent a lot of time with my kids all the time, which I, I really think had a lot to do with some things. But one thing is, at, at 24 years old, being raised the way I was, you don't really know how to raise kids. I wasn't abusive with my kids, but I did yell a lot because I didn't know how to handle my own emotions. I was always stressed out, trying to give my kids the best they could. Always kept the roof over their head. But let me tell you something. When you're rolling pennies and change for diapers and and baby formula, even and you're working tons of jobs, yeah, it's fun. When your electric's turned off and you have to come up with that money fast to pay it so you can get electric turned back on, yeah, let me tell you. I've done all these things. I like the stuff I do. I like being blue collar. I like working the way I do. Doesn't matter what you think. I like it. It's why I've always done it. It makes me feel the way I believe men should feel. Uh, we can be opinionated. We can say what we want. We can act like men. We can bullshit. We can break balls. I like that. If I can earn, if I can earn a good living having fun, I'm doing that. I'm not, I wasn't going to go to college. I wasn't going to sit in an office. There's no way I could have sit all fucking day with a bunch of people that I don't get along with without throwing somebody through a fucking wall. But getting back to raising my kids. So me and my wife then had two children. It's not easy raising four kids when you really don't know how to raise kids. But I do know that I love my kids. I do know that I was there whenever I could be for them at sporting events. That was a, that was priority to me. Uh, when I could do it, but bringing home the money was the most important for me. Well, fast forward now, all my kids are grown. Now I have seven grandkids, and I actually got an eighth one on the way. People say a lot about me, how I am, but when I make comments, I make general comments. I don't attack any individuals. It's because I lo I don't see the world as most people see it. Okay, I had broke my balls. I knew what it's like to have to struggle to earn a living. I didn't blame anybody, didn't blame my mom, didn't blame my dad. I don't ever remember anybody wanting to hear anything like that back then. Nobody wanted to hear your excuses. And if they did, they say, dude, you're responsible. Take care of your shit. Handle your shit. Nobody wants to hear it. Nobody did want to hear it. So why say it? I just knew that I had to take care of these children. So my kids decided not to go to college now, but they decided to have a family. They liked actually the way they were raised. My oldest daughter has four kids. She's a stay-at-home mother. She actually likes doing that. Now, she, she wants to go to college, and she started college, and she's going to take online courses. She's going to do her thing, but she still has a family. My 24-year-old daughter, she started going to school and decided, well, I'm going to have kids. She's 24. She's got two kids now. She's married. She works part-time. And soon enough, when the kids go to school, she'll start doing what she wants to do. My 21-year-old daughter, well, she's 20. When she was 20, she bought her first car. No help from me. I was going to buy her a car. She didn't like the car I was going to buy her. So I said, well, you go and do what you want to do. She had good enough credit. She had a good enough job. She paid for her own car. So, and my son, 
Well, he's come a long way also. He's going to have a second kid soon. He's a truck driver. And you know what? Say what you want. He's earning a living. It's not that difficult to earn a living today and earn a good living where you can take care of your family. It's not an embarrassment to not go to college. It's not an embarrassment to be blue collar when you can take care of your family. Okay? This isn't me just saying, oh, yeah, because I, I, I do what I do and I, I need to uh, validate. No. I enjoy it. I will tell you. I'm not a slave. I can leave any time. I can lay in bed and just collect welfare like half of the country does. But I, we don't do that. And my kids know how I am. And they know I wouldn't accept that in any way from them. And I, wouldn't ex and, and I would not accept my kids not taking care of their kids and raising them very well. My kids are so judgmental now. I mean, they broke my balls. Hey, Dad, Dad, you're so judgmental. You're so judgmental. You're right. I am. Okay? And you guys started going off the rails a little bit. And you guys... We're rebels for a little bit, but I kept on you, and I kept on you. I'd show up at somebody's door at 10 o'clock at night, knocking on the door. Hey, man, can I see my kid? Just to make sure you were there, just so you knew I was there. Or, you know, there, my daughter one time, my youngest daughter one time, violated curfew. She was supposed to be at a friend's house. She tried, they tried to go out, and they were caught by the police. 2 o'clock in the morning, knocking on my door. Yep, police said, I don't know who they were. They were running. They were in the graveyard. My daughter hit under a pickup truck. The cop told her to stop. She stopped, luckily, because he said he was going to tase her. You know what I told the cop? Should have tased her. She probably wouldn't run again. She probably would comply. But my kids all straightened out. My kids all are good. I'm not, I'm proud of my kids. My kids are living the life that they want to live right now. They know that they're capable of doing more. They know that Having kids early does not mean the end. It just means you struggle early and have it good at the end. Because when you struggle and your kids are like mine, I'm 51, going to have eight grandkids. I got a 33 year old, 30 year old, 24 and 21 year old. I'm not really, I don't really, I mean, I can cut back on my work hours. I could do whatever I want now. I can do whatever I want. 51 years old. But these people out there going to college, they have the first kid at 40 years old. 40 years old. They may never see their grandkids. You know, they, so people choose jobs. People now choose jobs over kids. Well, that's a breakdown of, of America. You know, that's that's what builds countries, strong families. Well, we don't want families no more. People, people, society frowns upon having society frowns upon having families. I don't understand. It doesn't matter if you like me. It doesn't matter like if you like my opinion, my life views, my life. It's all from experience. Okay, I've grown up hard. I've lived a hard life. Am I going to make excuses for it? I'm not going to try to validate the stuff I did in the past as, as the kind of person I was. I wasn't a very nice person, I can tell you that. I got four kids, three different women, and I don't, I don't care telling people that because I took care of all my kids. I raised every single one of my kids, every single one. The only one, the only one that wasn't in my house on a regular basis was my son who lived in the same, just about in the same town, which is a small town. I had him all the time. I paid child support for him until he was in ninth grade and when he came to live with me. But he was with me all the time. I wasn't a dad that was going out drinking and boozing and trying to pick up women and telling uh, my son's mother, no, I can't take him because i got to go out and get some ass. No, I took my kids. I raised my kids. Okay? Somebody else didn't raise my kids. My wife was a stay-at-home mother and raised our kids. Okay? My daughters are raising their kids. Okay? So when people say, well, aren't you, shouldn't your kids went to college? I'm like, no. And I used to feel bad about that. And I'm like, you know what? No, I'm pretty proud of my kids. I'm proud of my kids. And I used to feel kind of bad that I didn't. And I look around, I'm like, these kids ain't better. Matter of fact, these kids have got it worse. These kids now got debt. They don't got a job. They have no families. Their kids, they, they're just going, running around aimlessly, telling about how they got this college fucking degree, but yet they're not using it. So anyhow, let me get off here real quick. Just a little bit about who I am. And I don't really give a fuck if you know who I am and you don't like what I got to say and you're going to try to psychologically analyze me. You don't know me. But I'm going to be who I am and I've been like this since I've been young. And I'm probably going to die the same way. Opinionated, jerk off, I don't care. It's a long, it's probably the longest video I've ever made talking. But I just wanted to get some shit out there and, realize, and people to realize, you know, just because it's not easy out there, doesn't mean you got to make excuses, be the victim, play the bullshit game. You know, you are the decisions, the choices you make. You fucking live by them. You die by them. You can fucking suck it up. You can become depressed. You can take medications, drink, do drugs, whatever. Okay? I didn't go that route. 
okay? I don't go those routes. If I can't do it on my own, I'll fucking find out. I'll find the help for it, okay? I'm not going to suck around. I'm not going to suck it up and cry and say, oh, my God, life's so bad for me. Nope. I'll figure it out one way or the other like I've been my whole life. Later.